All right, all right, all right. This the part where we set all you youngsters down and give you some advice. I wanna talk to you. Working in the drive you listening to them lying dudes, crying about what they used to do and how they had more blocks than you. Supervisor threatening to fire, damn, my nigga just got hired. Now I'm back to drinking and driving, post poles right behind me. Neighborhood, I made it out in, principals and teachers doubted. Oh, the brother business college, wish my granny could have saw it. Never could play the ball, flawless how I played them loud. It was hard to not love math when a drug game was in my past. Of course, we know these streets is cold, take the law, that's how it's old. Many times I cut it close, but that's another episode. Bad news travel fast. They love to hear me doing bad. I'm better than I ever been. Can only count a couple friends. The others, I don't need them. In the cut is where I leave them. Rather love them from a distance. I ain't playing about my freedom. Speak about it. As a young dude, you know what I'm saying? I was young. Marched on down the street because my, my, my partner told me, I was like, man, you know, go holler at them, let them know I rap. So I can see what's going on, you know what I'm saying? What steps I gotta take? Cause to me it was all impossible, but it was coming together. So he told me, look, you're gonna have to go talk to him yourself. You're a cool dude, whoop the woo. So I went on ahead, nigga. I had my raps written. My big homie from the next street wrote my first rap. Or my very first rap, nigga. So but after that, nigga, I had it all in line. Walked on down here, marched and knocked on the door. You know what I'm saying? Told him, hey, look, I rap. What can I do? I mean, I rap. I mean, you know, that's all I could tell them. So they had a big studio downstairs. None of that, um, nothing digital, you dig? Nothing digital. It was ADAS back then, or real to real. And, uh, you know what I'm saying? He took me upstairs in a small miniature studio. They had, uh, you know, just a, 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 a you know, a, a AS10 or whatever, you know what I'm talking about? And, um, MPC, and then they had a mic and shit, and then they wanted me to spit. And then I spit it, you dig? I spit the shit, and then he was fucking with me from then on. He was just like, look, go home, write, 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 write. And from there, I met my boy, Lil Ron, soon to be my partner. I met his pops, you know what I'm saying? Because I remember in my verse then, I said something about Glocks, you know what I'm saying? And he was like, he walked up to me like, little nigga, what you know about Glocks, you know what I'm saying? But that's that's how that started, you dig? I just wanted to take y'all down here and show y'all the crib, but I don't want to embark on nobody's privacy because somebody do live in that house, man, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> walking this way and it was a van right here and they getting out the van with speakers boxes you dig they unloading it a whole bunch of people bringing it in it dawned on me you know what i'm saying it dawned on me then that damn they building a studio over here dog and look at me man i'm in here rapping on my, my uh pops you know that on a jazz tapes and shit man i'm, I'm you know mind job i'm a young cat and shoot then i was like my first thought was boom let me go holler at christopher let me find out really what's going on to see how I can get into this place. You know, get in there, you know, get in get in the mix of things to find out what's going on, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to uh, Big Ron and Butch with your boy music. Good at records. That's what it was back then, man. It was professional. I see groups, all type of groups come in and out, you know what I'm saying? Master P, before Master P was, you know, this big mogul, hip-hop mogul of No Limit Records. They was dealing with Butch here, you know what I'm saying? What P was, I mean seen autograph stuff signed by him pictures and all that stuff in studio pictures and another legend was johnny taylor and that's what one person is singing clarence too johnny taylor is what blew my mind is when i had a chance to meet johnny taylor coming on my block you dig from uh from everybody from johnny taylor george clinton has been on this block rocking out bro jamming my nigga for real because these dudes did blues butchie boy they did blues man all the way around the board so just in my neighborhood, this block right here, these are all the things that was going on, you know what I'm saying? So it, it was just motivational off top, bro. You know what I'm talking about? R.I.P. Johnny Taylor, baby. Real talk. You know what I'm talking about? Triple D. It's real good, though. We're going to keep it moving with the story, though. Bam. Crack in the window. A breath of fresh air. 